course, you already know the Swan Enforcer security camera system. I won't go into this particular model in this video, but I've already done a full review and I will link that right below in the description box below the video, as well as all the products that I do review for Swan in this video, look in the description box below. And with the Core Cam security camera, we have our solar charging panel and stand for our camera here. And lastly, we have Swan's indoor siren. It's an add-on siren that alerts you of activity and deters intruders. It's adjustable volume, works with your Wi-Fi, and you can access that, of course, over the app solar panel, which has our mounting bracket. Looks like we have a long cable here, which is nice. We got a, oh, it looks to be a black mounting bracket. So you have black or white, couple rubber silicone for waterproofing and some mounting hardware here directions and our panel here which looks really nice the back of it here with our plug okay and now let's take a look at the core cam security cam here again instruction manual you got your security stickers some mounting hardware we have a little rotating ball head for mounting we have a USB to micro USB white cord for recharging the camera and a nice smaller camera as we can see here. Let's go ahead and remove that. Again, motion detection, night vision, two-way audio for speaking and listening, and full 1080p. Of course, like the other items, works with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. And on the bottom of the camera here, you have your mounting hardware right here. You have your mounting screw to mount that to your hardware. And then you flip up this latch here, which this is waterproof, I just have already lifted it up. You have your on and off button, you have your micro USB charging input right here. They actually do give you a 32 gigabyte micro SD card already for the camera, which is great. And then you got a little reset button in there as well. That flaps shut for your waterproof rating. Has a slight hood to it right here, as we can see. And the solar panel with the micro SD input, so no need to charge it because the solar panel is gonna charge it. Now with regards to waterproofing, if you are wondering because it is exposed here, and we do have the longer cord with some caps right here, and the solar panel does, remember, come with a few of these little flip-up hoods here. But I'm not really exactly sure how those clip on there because these are different shapes than the square. So you might want to put this underneath a house eave a porch, et cetera, maybe not in direct rain. And if you are wondering, the max capacity is 128 gigabyte micro SD card if you would rather have a little bit more storage than the provided 32. All right, it's time to connect these. All right, let's take a look at the Swan camera here. Now I got some push notifications as I stepped in front of the Swan camera, as we can see right up here in my little notification bar. We toggle that down and here, right here, it looks like it's already automatically connected with my Swan security camera here, but motion detection. So let's go ahead and tap on motion detection. It will go ahead and go into the Swan app. Depends on how fast your phone is and your Wi-Fi. That took about maybe 15 seconds or so. And coming up here to 16.9, let's see if we can get it in a full view here. So I actually closed the app out and it's a lot quicker when you hit the Swan app, fires up very quickly. I tap on my camera, no thanks to that offer. And we should get right into the camera here or maybe I need to do it again, there we go there. All right, so I got my doorbell, and then I got my camera here with the solar panel here. If you have not seen my Swan doorbell video, I'll have that linked in the description box below as well with this product as well. So right now I'm in high quality mode. Under camera settings here, you have quality, let's go ahead and go to max, I have it outdoor. You can flip the image, mirror the image, microphone speaker volumes. You can do motion detection mask, motion settings, storage, check for updates, I'm gonna cover up my Wi-Fi name, but I have named it front deck. You can name it whatever you want. Status is on. Battery charging, because obviously it's connected to a solar panel. It's at 100%. Now here it is on my front deck, looking really crispy. You can see all the way out. You can see the car. God forbid if someone broke in. You can digitally zoom a little bit. As we can see right here to my fence line, I won't go the other way, because my car don't want the license plate showing. Here, you toggle this off. You tap that to speak. If there was any intruder out there, you could speak to it. Uh, you have what looks to be alarm here. Um, if you do see something and you want to capture it on your camera roll, you could take a picture right there. Snapshot saved. Uh, you could start recording video. So as you can see, when we hit record, we get this red line around the uh, image here. That means you are recording, and then we go ahead and stop recording there. Recording saved successfully, and then you would go in your camera roll, and it should be right here. Yes, it is. 13 seconds, 
right here. So if you wanna get it on your phone as well, if there's something important you need to record. Now let's go to the main feed of my app here. Now I actually do need to recharge my doorbell. That's why it's disconnected there. But let's go ahead and look here. So obviously there is the camera we're speaking about right now. You can go to live view, but this is where it gets real juicy in the app here. As you can see today, we had activities, motions, two motions, and all of your goodies right here. Summary, past week, etc. We go here to playback, and here, this is where it gets really fun here. So downloading video, this might take just a few seconds. And there we go there. And let's check out there's me shoveling, and you can hear me taking footsteps and putting the shovel back in the ground. My dog's wondering what's going on. Are you going to play with me? Let's go ahead and look at this another one here. We'll flip it to the side here. Here she is playing here, my pup. And then here I am grabbing the shovel there. So you can play around with the sensitivity of how uh, sensitive you want it. So if you're getting a lot of false notifications, I would lower the uh, sensitivity if you live close to a street. But as you can see here, I'm very clear shoveling snow and I believe I look at the camera here what well, looks like it uh, stopped there so I think maybe you get 15 to 20 seconds per clip this one is actually 25 this one's only 15 so again this is not a continuous recording camera this picks up motion detection and we'll start to record and then let's go ahead and hit this so this is where you gets a little bit more juicy if you need schedules if you need modes i do this with my uh, doorbell here you could do home night away edit modes and then of course all your settings here so this is your motion detection settings again the sensitivity close sleep period minimum sensitivity far siren duration etc and you save that so again this isn't the permanent location of it but for testing purposes we'll go ahead and leave the panel right here and it is charging even though it is not direct light it is an overcast day right now storms on the way but again this is where it is just perched up right here again if you needed to mount this and flip the image that is possible if it's upside down for some reason you could just flip the image over so it does have a red led light right there and we're getting a little bit of feedback here, but I do want to test this. It is recording me with motion detection here. Um, and then obviously we'll toggle this off here. Attention, attention. Attention, attention. Attention, attention. Now you can raise that volume up if you like. Let me go ahead and cut that off. But that is coming out of the back speaker on the back of it. And you definitely can tell that is me right there. So let's test out the siren here if you wanted to scare someone off. And of course you can raise that up as well. So it looks like it beeps and then turns off and then it'll go again. And you just toggle that off when you're done with that. So again, in settings, the mic volume, I only have that at 50%, you could raise that up. And speaker volume, 85%, you could raise that up if you want. And again, we already looked at mirror image the flip right there so it actually looks like some of these clips are saving at 15 seconds and some of these clips are saving at 25 seconds as we can see here let's go ahead and toggle this one here and we'll listen in a little bit better without that reverb you can pause it you can move it back and forth obviously this is my deck pillar so i'm just kind of behind it as i'm kind of filming the camera there up there we have the time and date down here at the bottom god forbid you needed to show that to the police and so in your calendar here, you can go back to the specific times and dates and all that good stuff. Choose your clips. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and look at nighttime and see what we got. Now it is snowing. That's why obviously you're seeing some things falling in between the, uh, in front of the camera there. I do have the porch light on, so we're going to cut that in just a second, but I want to show you the different shots here. Now, a couple things that I've noticed when logging into the app is right on the middle of the camera screen for the front deck, the night shot one you're looking at right now, it'll actually say devices on standby five to ten seconds and it depends how fast your internet is i'm out here in the country and we're on satellite if you have fiber optic i think your connection will be a little quicker mine can take sometimes upwards of five to eight seconds or so but let's go ahead and tap that now that's again when you first initialize the app and then once you're in it's super quick so to the left is my post on my front deck and the night vision light is reflecting off of that that's why the uh, left you'll see a little bit right there you see a shovel in front of the camera the tree the car 
Again, that is with the porch light on and a, like one string of Christmas lights I just have left up, but it's just one string. But the porch light is what's giving it uh, a lot of light. I think the night vision is on as well with the porch light. I'm gonna be live right here with you. We're gonna go ahead and cut the porch light in five, four, three, two, one cutting and we'll go ahead and cut over. As you saw there, that was a very quick cut over and not much difference because the night vision is so nice. The porch light did illuminate, I think maybe a little bit more to the left. Let me cut the uh, Christmas lights and we should be seeing those. Okay, but that really didn't do anything because that was just one string of Christmas lights. So as we can see here, even with the snow trickling down, it is currently 23 degrees outside. So this camera is gonna hold up in weather. Now I'm gonna have to brush off that solar panel tomorrow morning, but as you can see, a nice clear shot making out my fence to the left, my tree, my shovel, like we've already talked about, my fence straight out in front, the SUV straight out in front, and tree branches to the right. Overall, doing a very nice job. And very quickly, I do want to show you the Swan Siren. This is for indoors. And this is kind of the main siren area here. But what you do is you get leak sensors, you get motion sensors, window door sensors, and you can connect it to this siren. So here is like the door and window sensors here. And then you have your main siren right here. So if anything does transpire, you can get push notifications. In the settings of the siren, speaker volume, siren duration, sound effect. So definitely check that out as well. I'll have that linked in the description box below if motion leak detectors and this would suit your needs. Once again, your links are right below. Top link in the description box below will be these products. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything I'm making videos about. But if you do have the cash, and it does intrigue you, please go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, it helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. And hit that subscribe button on your way out if you like videos like this, tech reviews, DIY projects, van life builds, remodeling videos, and more. Once again, your links are below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.